So Mustang was born April 17th of 1964 at the World's Fair here in New York City. We put a car up on top of the Empire State Building to celebrate it. And Ford Motor Company and the Fairlane Committee, which was the group that put together this car, wanted to unveil it here in New York City. And it was the car that changed the sports car world. We're celebrating the 55th birthday here on April 17th. And the really cool thing about National Mustang Day is it wasn't Ford Motor Company that actually went to the Congress and said, hey, we need a day to recognize Mustang. It was the owners groups. We have clubs on six continents that have Mustang clubs, and it's that passion and that love of the automobile and the Mustang itself that caused those owners to want to have a national Mustang Day. And what better day to do that than April 17th when it was its birthday? We don't talk about future products. We're not, you know, we're not talking about the future, but Mustang is going to continually evolve. So the engineering men and women are working on the propulsion systems that are going to power the Ford Motor Company vehicles, and Mustang is part of the Ford family. We're proud of all of the vehicles that we have here. Um, but the ones, because I'm in the performance side of the business, you have the Gulf Edition Ford GT here, which Ford, going back to compete against Ferrari in the 60s, won 66, 67, 68, and 69. Four years. And we celebrated that with a Ford GT, and we did the Heritage Edition. And the Gulf famous racing colors, that Ford GT is here on display the car that is behind me, I'm so proud of. It is an EcoBoost four-cylinder, high-performance package Mustang that delivers 330 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque. Those are some of the cars that has made Ford and the Mustang the best-selling sports coupe globally for four years running.